Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to our unboxing of the Alcatel Idol 4S. Now we first saw this device at MWC uh, this year and uh, we have it in house and there's a lot that comes with it which is why I'm quite excited here. So uh, we, we got to meet up with Alcatel, they provided us of course the device as well as a couple of cases. Now we got four cases but I'm going to tell you this, when you purchase your own Alcatel Idol 4S you do get a case as well as a tampered glass screen protector and a few other things too. So this is the package and I will get to all the details and also the cost. Now the packaging itself here, very simple, very clean. You've got the specs behind. You've got this like, you know, uh, powder blue color uh, packaging and reveals what's inside. Now, as I mentioned, you get a case, you get a tamper screen protector, you get a VR headset, you also get JBL um, headphones, all priced at $399. Now, currently right now, uh, you can pre-order the device for $350 and you get all this. So doesn't matter when you pre-order or, or if you buy it later, you will get everything I mentioned as you purchase the Alcatel Idol 4S. Now, in terms of specs, now this thing, this device uh, comes with a 5.5 inch uh, QHD display. Uh, you, it's powered by the Snapdragon 652 processor uh, here. You've got three gigs of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, expandable memory via micro SD. Now, I like the packaging. I like the fact that the, the smartphone is embedded into the VR case. So just basically showing you if you, it's your first time experiencing VR, that this is what you need to do to actually enjoy or view VR content. So I like that aspect from Alcatel and I like they're pushing that. Here's our Idol 4S and we'll look at the phone in a second. Let's see what else we have in the packaging here. So opening this up here, uh, we can see that we have, of course, uh, USB cables. We also have um, a, a charger. Now this has fast charging in there. It takes about 90 minutes to fully charge the device. It also comes with a pair of JBL certified headphones as well as a SIM uh, removal tool. So you've got some uh, quality earbuds, actually earbuds, not headphones, with this device, which is nice. So I'm glad that, you know, they're giving you something that you can actually use that has some level of quality and also improves your music listening experience because audio is also a big part of what um, Alcatel is pushing with the Idol 4S. So you can see here some uh, in earbuds from JBL and Again, all that is packaged for you as you buy the device. So here's the, uh, the Alcatel Idol 4S. It's got a glass front and back. It's got a, a slightly curved screen. So you've got an edge screen, uh, not, not an edge screen, but a curved screen, if you will, around the edges. It's glass and metal built together. Very nice um, design all the way through. You've got a micro USB port at the bottom, of course, with fast charging, as I mentioned. And as we look at the back here, you can see you've got a fingerprint sensor right below the camera. That is a 16 megapixel shooter with LED flash. We'll also record at 4K uh, resolution, uh, which is nice. Um, the battery there is a 3000 milliamp battery, so you can expect up to 24 hours of battery life altogether. But I have to say though, this device is well built in design. Now that is kind of the action button there on the right hand side, which you can map with different things. Your headphone jack, your volume rocker is also on the right hand side. Power button is on your left, as well as the SIM um, tray. This is a dual SIM device as it also has micro um, SD. Now it's got 360 audio, which means it's got two speakers in the front, one on the top there uh, and one on the bottom. And then also we flip it around the speakers behind. So it doesn't matter which position you put this device, facing up or facing down, you really get, you get some really good audio. I've listened to it and I have to say it, it, it was really, really good. Now, um, this is the SIM tray I mentioned. So basically it supports uh, dual SIM or you can also put in a micro SD card up to 200 gigabytes on this device. So that's also very good here. Now, in terms of software, this is running its um, Android 6.01 with its own UI overlay there. There are a couple of VR applications that have already been preloaded. In terms of just the background skin there, there are a few gesture controls you can actually manipulate and put onto the device. Nothing too crazy. Um, you also have the boom key, which is the key on the side, which you can map for different activities, taking photos, opening apps, or absolutely just do nothing if you want to trigger an application. So you have those abilities there. 
As I mentioned, the storage for this device, of course, is a 32 gigabytes, uh, three gigs of RAM, um, and uh, of course, you can expand that via micro SD. In terms of the performance and, and just functionality, so far using it, it's been very smooth. Uh, I like the fact that you know this device uh, feels and runs very well. The Snapdragon 652 processor so far feels nice, and we have to definitely spend some time testing it out in our full review. Now, the camera application itself, uh, is a very simple application to a certain degree. You can see uh, the way the camera app is set up, easy to access, you've got your settings and a few quick options on the left. You can also scroll through different options like manual mode, uh, slow-mo, pano. Uh, you've also got a new option called micro video, allowing you to record short video clips of things like uh, Vine, Snapchat, as well as Instagram, uh, so you don't have to actually edit your longer clips down. So you can actually select that directly from the camera application and also quickly edit it with a built-in editor. And we'll spend more time with the review on that. As I mentioned, it records at 4K, it, you know, it's a 60 megapixel shooter, and we'll see how that uh, shooter actually handles in terms of just full process altogether. But so far, though, I'm liking what I see from Alcatel Idol 4S. Now, we have to determine is it worth that pricing of $399 um, altogether? But do, do remember that you do get the, the smartphone. Uh, the VR headset and a case and a tempered glass screen protector, all for $399. And if you pre order it now, I have the pre order link for you guys down below, you get all that for $350. So this might not be a bad buy, but we we'll have to spend some more time with this. So, guys, if you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favor this video, subscribe to the channel. If you want to, again, purchase it right now, we have the link for you guys down below. And always enjoy your entertainment. Thank <laughs> you.